The microphone choice should be made so it complements the sound of the instrument or amplifier if you want the recording to sound smooth with no peaks in the response. In this movie, I'm going to show you a few things to consider before you choose a mic for a recording. There's no single mic that works on everything. Just because you have a great mic doesn't necessarily mean that it will be the best choice in all situations. Choose the mic for the right reasons. Just because a mic is considered an industry standard choice for a particular application doesn't necessarily mean that it will work in your situation. Likewise, just because your favorite engineer, player, or singer uses a particular mic doesn't mean it will also work for you. There are so many variables that you can never count on anything other than your ears. Select a microphone that complements the instrument or amp. If the sound of the instrument, vocal, or amplifier is edgy or has a lot of top end, you wouldn't want to use a mic that emphasizes that frequency range, since it would sound even more out of balance frequency-wise. On the other hand, a mic that emphasizes the upper mid-range a bit might make a mellower sounding instrument step out of the mix. Choose the mic to help overcome some of the deficiencies of the sound of the instrument that you're recording. Consider the pickup pattern of the mic. A directional mic is not always the best choice for the sound that you're trying to capture. When you're not worried about leakage, like during overdubs, for instance, an Omni or Figure 8 pattern might result in a smoother all-around recording with better sounding ambience, providing a recording in a good sounding room. Consider the proximity effect. Closer a directional mic gets to the sound source, the more the bass response increases. This isn't always desirable, so either move the mic back from the source a bit or change the pattern to Omni. On the other hand, you can also use proximity effect to your advantage to increase the low end of the sound if needed. Large diaphragm condensers are not necessarily better than small diaphragm condensers. Contrary to popular belief, small diaphragm condenser microphones can reproduce the lower frequencies better and are generally less colored off-axis than large diaphragm mics. Large diaphragm mics aren't as noisy, though. Remember, choose a mic on how it complements the sound of the instrument that you're recording. Don't be afraid to try something that's not considered an industry standard, and be sure to make full use of the proximity effect if necessary. Finally, try different pickup patterns to see which best complements the sound that you're recording.